in the process hopefully of making me a nice bacon and egg sandwich. Absolutely peeing out. Fun and games mate. We just spotted a potential problem. Hello guys and welcome to another video. So uh, today I'm going to be popping over to my mate Joe. Uh, not without the keys in the ignition first. Um, we're going to be attempting to try and replace the uh, power steering pump on his van. So I'm just going to head over now. He's in the process hopefully of making me a nice bacon and egg sandwich which would be very nice. And uh, yeah. Well, uh, I'll catch you when we get there. There it is, Octal Vivaro. So, and there you can see, absolutely peeing out. Okay, you can switch it off. So when Joe popped round uh, last time, tried putting some of this black mask stick around it just to try and see if that would actually make any difference with sealing, but. I didn't think it would, but it was just so that you didn't lose too much fluid just driving home. Um, but obviously that's not uh, that's not going to suffice. So this is obviously the failed pump that we're going to take off. So yeah, let's crack on. That's really bright. Right, okay, so here's the uh, the pump. So the first thing we're gonna need to do, looks like we've got this tensioner bolt here, so we need to get this to be able to move the tensioner to slacken the belt so we can get the belt off. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So what I'm doing now is pulling on the tensioner to loosen it so we can just take the belt off of the pulley of the steering pump. So now it's a case of taking pipes off to get out what remaining fluid there is in this. It looks like we've got one here. Uh, and there's another one I think at the top as well, so we'll get those off. Squeeze that, move that along. There we go. And now I've got to somehow shift this pipe off. Might need a bit of persuasion. There we go. And get ready to catch the fluid. So the next nut that we need to take off is this one up here where we've got this pipe so that's the next one a little bit awkward but we're going to get that one next so the problem we've got is it's not in a particularly easy place for access so i think probably the best thing we can do is we'll get this front bumper off the van it's only a few bolts so uh, we're going to do that and make it access a heck of a lot easier there you go. Yeah. Take one off, loosen one, and just let the number plate drop. Right, 
so that has now made access a million times easier right so the scenario we've got right now um try to take this pipe off see i've been able to crack this lower knot and obviously you can see that it's turning and the upper one isn't which you think that's a good sign so at least it's cracked off there problem is is that when we're trying to turn and we go a little bit more what then starts happening and if you can tell it then gets tough here and what's happening now is you can see that the pipe itself is starting to turn which I don't want to risk having because otherwise it'd snap so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pump off of the brackets here there's one bolt here one that side and one down there as well so we've got three there um, and then what we'll do is once that's off is that we'll just twist the pump round by hand now that we've cracked this lower nut it might go so that's what we're going to try next <coughs> Fun and games, mate. <laughs> oh, it's mounting. It shows that we're not putting any strain on this pipe. Yeah. Uh, on the joins. So I think we take it off there. Take that off as well. Okay. Ooh, you alright? Just like that. Just like that. Just careful the spring. There we go. Let's have a look at that. Oh, oh you're pouring the fluid oh. out of everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and now it's coming out of the tap. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I'd attempted to put the, uh, um, the gasket seal around the side when Joe had had his van around at mine before. Um, and it didn't really work, so which I wasn't surprised about. So. <laughs> this is uh, pretty much scrap. We'll put the, uh, put the new one on and uh, hopefully we'll be in business. Right, obviously with the two pumps side by side now, we can see that what we've got to do here. Um, on the new one, we've got this um retaining yeah the, the the retaining nuts on this one and of course it's missing on here so what i need to do now is separate these two bits so the larger one has got to come away and then obviously the larger one on the on the newer pump will then thread up up onto this so we're going to separate these two bits now Can you still record? Um, something's not right. I just spotted a potential problem. If you look at the body of this old pump, you can see the distance between there and the edge of the pulley, quite a small gap. When you look at this one, it's a lot bigger. Way bigger. To the point where you can see that this pulley is not lining up with the others. 
and all the other ancillaries on the engine. It don't line up, it's too far over this side. Alright guys, okay so it's uh, it's been a few days since uh, I had to obviously leave the um, leave the job at Joe's with that uh, steering pump being uh, being incorrect so I'm just actually heading back to his now. Um, he's got a he's got a new part so fingers crossed hopefully this one will be alright. Uh, weather's a lot brighter today which which obviously helps although it is a, a little bit windy um, so yeah hopefully fingers crossed this should be uh, a fairly comfortable day too and we'll get this uh, get this steering pump on get to uh, get his van back on the road so yeah fingers crossed let's see how we get on it still looks a bit sorry Looking considerably better. <laughs> yeah, that's looking a lot better. Right then, so obviously just to explain what happened um, last time we were here. So obviously this is the old steering pump. Now this is the one that we had originally purchased, and when you put it alongside this one, you can see where all the casings and all the mountains would be. You can see quite clearly that this pulley is nowhere near in line um, you can actually see there's quite a significant gap between this edge of the case in here in comparison to this one it was quite noticeable that this was not going to work so obviously that one's going to go back and this is now attempt number two so you can clearly see that uh, everything seems a lot more in line so this should be fairly straightforward we'll uh, get this one bolted back on plumb it all in and hopefully Joe will have uh, a nice working van again <laughs> There we go. Now the key thing to notice in this particular instance is, as you can clearly see, the pulley is lining up perfectly with all the other pulleys, so when the belt goes on it'll all be nice and straight and this will work this time. Right, so next thing we need to do is we need to nip this uh, metal, this bolt, uh, this nut on this metal pipe, nip that one up, get everything plumbed in, all the other pipes and everything else, belt back on, and then we'll uh, give it a test, see if it, uh, if it actually retains all your power steering fluid this time. That'd be nice. <laughs> this metal one, first of all, we've been very careful as ever. What you don't want to be doing is making too big a, a bend in this and risking slipping it, so it's just needing just a touch. And that should be fine. Got the rubber glove, put that over it, push them over, bullseye. 16 spanner on that tensioner bolt, pull it down to lift that pulley. Hold it in position while you put everything round. On the steering pump, pulley. Let's see Check what the things on. <laughs> and then relax the tension of bolt, spanner down. 
quick check that everything is on in the right place, that it's not overlapping anything that it shouldn't be. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah, filter in the top. Come on. Now the moment of truth. So as you can see, bolts going around nicely. Yeah, give it some lock to lock. A little bit noisy. I think that might be something else. But certainly, from this point of view, there is no leaking of any fluids, which is a fantastic result. So what we need to now do, because obviously, when you've done the um, locking motion side to side, what you've done is you've moved all the fluid around all the various pipes and what have you. So what you might need to do possibly is to top this up again because what, uh, what that's done is it's gotten rid of any um, air that was trapped in the system. Filter back in, cap back on, get it back off the jack and get the uh, jigsaw put back together. Yeah, the fun bit starts. <laughs>guys okay so uh success finally we've finally got that sorted yeah really really pleased that's uh it's ended up being a good result and uh, obviously joe's van's now back on the road as well and that's uh, ultimately the best thing about it so yeah all good so yeah fantastic results okay um so uh obviously let us know what you think of the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down any comments you want to put forward as ever on how we did the work, whether you thought we did a good job of it or whether we made a hash of it. Um, and then obviously if you would like to continue to support my channel then just hit the subscribe button at the end of the video. Right, okay then, so I'm just going to head back home now, get some lunch um, and uh, I will uh, probably be chilling out for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, not really much else to say. So thanks ever so much for watching. Obviously, thanks for Joe for giving us a hand in getting uh, in getting the pump fitted, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves as ever. See you later. Thank you ever so much, guys. Cheers. Bye bye.